The competition is aimed at groups of apprentices, uh, gives them a chance to work together in teams and develop skills that they do not usually have at an early stage in their careers. In the competition, they are given the task of designing a product from conceptual stages through to creating a business case and a, a prototype to demo uh, to show how they would take this product to market. Today we're at the finals day and they've just got the chance now to show off their good work to all of the judges and explain what they've done and what they've learned. I think it's really important for companies to consider taking part in the Home Automation Challenge uh, that the IMA Key runs. I think um, it offers uh, real opportunities to young apprentices to, to challenge themselves technically and also to mix with other apprentices from different companies that they may not have come into contact with before. And I think that's a great opportunity for them to build their networks and to learn new skills, particularly communication skills. Um, and I think it's a great opportunity you know, to be able to say, I've taken part in an Institution of Mechanical Engineering event. I've brought our Year 4 today to MTC to do the Automotive Challenge. We feel as a school it's really, really important to try and inspire the children to become the engineers of the future. The institution has to support this kind of activity, mainly because it gives credence to the ingenuity of our young engineers, especially those carrying out apprenticeships in these factories. Hi, my name is William Burton. I'm here representing the MTC and Megit, and we have just won the Home Automation Challenge sponsored by iMeki at the MTC in Coventry. So I've been impressed with the quality of all of the prototypes. I know from personal experience how difficult it is to take an idea, to design something, and to build it from scratch, and I commend the students for doing that. I'm really been impressed today by the creativity and the enthusiasm of our young engineers, and that's what the UK needs. We need young apprentices who are able to think through solutions to problems that probably never existed even five or ten years ago. 